and a new look and feel. This is not a skinned Windows Mobile 6.5 phone. This is a ground up rebuild with a whole, from a whole new kernel. All right? It's designed with a new look and feel to create a phone that's designed around what you do and how you work to make your life easier. Now what we did was we created a whole new design code or a design system codenamed Metro, which emphasizes smart design. Now smart the Metro is uh, pervasive throughout the entire Windows Phone 7 series experience. It represents a whole new set of elements that were designed, that were designed to fit together from layout to motion to fonts and even hardware integration. It's a system that's integrated into every aspect of the phone. It allows for easy reading, simple navigation, and natural gestures. We also took a look at applications and how people use applications on their phones and on their PCs. Um, we, also, we looked at how disjointed this experience can be at times. So we took what we feel is the next logical step, and we tried to integrate a lot of these applications together, making it very easy for, the, for applications to work with other applications, for applications to work with the operating system, so that everything blends together in an integrated, more seamless experience for the user. So I'll just kick it off here, get out of that, and move into taking a look at the phone. So I've got is a Windows Mobile, or habits are hard to break. Windows Phone 7 series device here. This is a prototype device that we just use for developing. Just gonna plug it in here. And the feed you have up there, we had up there, is coming off the phone. The little white dot up there is my finger where I'm touching it. You can see two finger taps, one finger tap. So everything I'm doing on the phone, you're seeing up there. I just wanna make sure everybody understands this is a real phone doing it and not a video I'm following along with. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to unlock the phone. So right off the bat, you see our new start screen. Now, up at the top, um, we've obviously got a simple clock and so on. But what we have are live tiles here. So you see different things happening. We've got a tile that's winking at me. We've got different activity happening. The photos tile there, the pictures tile, that's an actual picture on my phone. That's not some generic art that came on the phone, like a flower or a, or a boat or a bird or something. That's one of my actual pictures on my phone. The Outlook account is an account I set up on my phone. I've got text messages. Obviously, as, as I receive text messages, that icon changes. It turns into a little emoticon that's winking at me. And as I get more text messages, that emoticon changes a little bit. It becomes a little bit more excited as I'm getting new email or new text messages into my box. We've got our Games Hub a little further down here. I can go into Windows, uh, <coughs> or actually Xbox Live uh, integrated experience for games. The me tile is a tile that I can use to get to my, so my own social experiences like Facebook and so on. I can pin people to my home screen or my start screen like Katie Jordan here. I've got applications that I can also pin to it, such as Internet Explorer. I can pin any application, contact, playlist, piece of music, web page, pretty much anything I want, I can pin to the start screen to create a personalized phone experience for myself. So if there are two, of the, two uh, Windows Phone 7 Series phones on a table, it's very obvious whose phone is whose. I can even go so far as to change the color of the tiles. Blue, green, orange, different colors to suit my personality or suit what I like. Oops. Flip back over here. As I go down a little further, I can access my music and videos. We've integrated the Zune experience into the Windows Phone 7 Series. So I've got uh, access to my music and videos right here. The artist that's on there, that's the last artist I was actually listening to on the phone. <coughs> I have access to my calendar here. That also has my next appointment in it. And then another contact that I've got at the bottom. Now the contacts will sit there and continuously wink at me as they update their status on, say, Facebook or other social networks, maybe. They'll flip over and uh, give, me an, uh, give me a peek at what their new status message was, like going shopping or I'm off to the, to the bar with friends or whatnot. Now, the start menu is also very customizable, so I can take any of these icons and move them around. So I can tap and hold. Let's try and hold that one instead. I can tap and hold Katie Jordan, for instance. And now I can move her around. If I don't want Katie on my desktop anymore, I can hit that little broken heart and it's gone. Or I can simply move her around Notice the tile sort of pivot out of the way to show me where it's going to go. And I can drop Katie in anywhere I want her. I can move her on down, stick her here, wherever I want. 
fully customizable on the interface, so I can move things around. No. Sorry, sometimes the feed to the PC gets a little stuck. So again, I can move her around and get in and out of that. I can switch over and I have a list of all my applications, my settings, or different items that I can get to here on the right side. So I can pivot back and forth across my start screen between my live tiles and my applications and start, start items. Now, any of those applications that were on the right, I could simply press and tap and hold and uh, pin them as, an, as a tile over here on the other side. Let's take a look at one of the, uh, <coughs> at one of the experiences that we've integrated into the phone, right? So I'm going to go into my calendar. So I've got different views in my calendar. One of the things I like to point out is you notice I've got red and blue here. That represents two different calendars that I've got going. The red calendar is my work calendar, what I've got on my Outlook calendar from Exchange at Work. The red is my live calendar coming down from uh, Windows Live. I could maybe have a calendar for my Yahoo account or a Gmail account or whatever I want up here. The phone will support multiple calendar views and I can customize the colors to be whatever I want very easily simply by going in and managing calendar views. I've got two calendars and I can select whatever color I want for each of them. Now as I tap down at the bottom, you notice it brings up additional menu items for me. So we've got some really quick, quick tap items that I've got at the bottom of the circles or it brings up additional controls that I have available to myself. So wherever I have uh, icons at the bottom, I can actually bring up more information. We've also got a nice little month view here. Everything kind of zooms back out. I can pick a day and it zooms right back into that day for me. Now this evening I've got a team meeting at uh, one of the Microsoft campuses that we have here. You'll notice that the text is a different color in this meeting. And what it's done is the phone has intelligently looked at the text in this, in this, uh, in this uh, appointment and it recognizes phone numbers and addresses automatically. So it's highlighted that address in orange for me. It's created basically a type of a hyperlink there. By tapping on that, it knows this is an address and I want to go somewhere. So it's going to take me right to my maps and bring me right on in to where the campus is or where this address is. I can zoom in here. Just didn't mean to double. Now, I hit the uh, name of it. So I can zoom in. As I get closer, the map changes dynamically to give me a photograph or a, uh, a satellite view versus a uh, this is standard map view. I can pinch out, get a little bit further out if I want to, and as I back out of the map, the view is going to change, and it goes back to a street view. So it intelligently knows what's going on, and what I and it anticipates what I want, the different types of views that I want. Everything blends together very nicely as I move in and out of the map views. Now another thing that I can do here is move into something like search. So we've integrated search within the entire device. So we've got Bing search, our search engine, I have it right here with the Bing picture of the day, always nice beautiful pictures up there. And I can do a search for different items. So for one, for instance, I'm in Barcelona, so maybe we want to go get some tapas for dinner tonight. I can do a search on tapas and it quickly brings up relevant results. Now these relevant results are set up locally or set up for me. I can get in here and go into local and based on my current location, the closest one to me on out to ones that are a little bit further away. I can tap on the map at the top to bring up a map and get directions to the location right off the bat, or I can just simply go right into a little bit more information about this restaurant. I can get directions, I can tap on that phone number and call the restaurant instantly. If there are reviews on it, I would have reviews here. Some of this information is still being populated for European countries. I can see other businesses that are nearby. <coughs> all without having to worry about waiting for a browser to reload information. This is all right there available to me uh, on a single, a single view through Bing. Now, 